Thank you for attending our AP Automation What Dynamics NAV. Today's presentation will focus on how documents such as AP invoices can be run through our unstructured data recognition engine, be sent for approval, and upon final approval, generate a purchase invoice within NAV. Today we're using Dynamics NAV 2016, and we'll be utilizing our administrative shell execution platform to push the XML output into Navision to generate those vouchers, in this case, purchase invoices. Upon final approval of those particular invoices, the check will be cut and pushed back into Eclipse. We will also show how we can image enable Navision with custom buttons uh, utilizing the Object Explorer interface within Navision. We will start off with the ability to take multiple documents, in this case, four different invoices. We will copy those into a hot folder directory that will be monitored by our unstructured data recognition engine, or what we like to refer to as advanced capture. The advanced capture engine will automatically monitor this hot folder or an email directory and automatically pull these into the system. Once it pulls the documents into the system, we will go through a verification process. The verification process and that window will now be opened. And from our results here, you'll notice that we receive the three documents. However, we did capture four documents into the system, so any documents that have 100% accuracy or confidence will be automatically exported into Eclipse. In this particular case, we will go through our uh, validation process, and you'll see here in the bottom window, we'll show any validation exceptions. So in this particular case, the line items. We'll utilize our click-free entry to extract the uh, item numbers, and then we'll also uh, notify in this particular case that we have some mismatch on our purchase order as it relates to our invoice. So our purchase order was for 37 quantity, and we've received 36 quantity. So we're allowed to uh, accept with override here, and then we'll also grab the invoice date. Okay. So we go through a two-step process in this particular case. The first one is low confidence variables, and we'll uh, look for any OCR misreads. In this particular case, it gives us a code snippet of what it actually read, along with the value at the top. In this case, it is a six, so we'll confirm or hit enter to move to the next low confidence character. This one's a period, and we'll move forward. So we've now done uh, the first two documents. Uh, the third document here, we got the edge of that box as an I, so we will re uh, remove that and hit confirm. So our verification uh, for low confidence values has been complete. Step two will now be the uh, validation, the validation of either rules or missing required fields. So in our first document, we skipped because there were no issues. The second document, we come in here and we'll see the issue of uh, the total. Uh, the total here equals 28,375, but our total value is 25,076. So I can see that we have an issue with our freight. Um, so we're going to remove that freight charge, and we'll have that equal now. Uh, so in the future, this system can learn from its mistakes and automatically process this particular AT Sports Group invoice um, by not grabbing the total weight as the freight charge. Uh, we'll now use our key free entry here and grab the quantities. So we'll grab that. Okay, and our validation errors are now gone hit the button to run the verification validation wizard and we get to another situation here where it uh, utilized the phone number to find the vendor information as a result we're uh, returned two different vendor master IDs so we're going to select the appropriate one and that will update all of our content information so we're now done with our process and we'll now submit this particular batch on the back end, the XML in the PDF or TIFF or whatever ver file format you'd like will now be exported into the Eclipse interface. So we'll now enter the Eclipse interface into the workflow, and we'll see all available workflows here. Okay. 
So we'll open up each one of these particular documents, and as you can see, all the metadata associated with that particular um, line has now come into the solution. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go back to our workflow. We're going to select all the documents, and we're going to uh, view them all so that we can go and approve them. So we're going to select Brent as the approver for each one here, and these will all go into Brent's queue. All the data values here, such as payment terms, vendor IDs, uh, vendor names, all this is pulled real time from the vision, as well as all the GL codes that are signed here uh, are automatically pulled real time from the vision. Uh, distribution types, again, all this information automatically pulled. So upon final approval here on this particular uh, fourth document, once I hit the uh, once I hit the last approval there, uh, the uh, output uh, from the system, and you'll see that all these are now complete and removed from Brent's queue. We will now go and a export will initiate. In this particular case, I'm showing you the back end, and this particular file here gets generated, and we create an XML port on the nav side through the admin console here, and the 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 XML port allows us to import multiple documents or multiple document transactions in one shot. Now, in order to execute the code unit and the XML port, um, we're going to utilize the administrative shell within Navision to execute that. So when we go in, you'll notice if I go to our purchase invoices within Navision, there's nothing available in our purchase invoices. We're going to execute our administrative shell. Um, all that information is now um, available within the NAV interface. So we'll go into NAV now, hit the refresh button, and you'll see all the available metadata has now been populated within the NAV interface. All the line item information, including all the header information. You'll also notice that as part of the purchase invoice page, uh, we've embedded a button a button that utilizes the Docstar application integrator interface to call up documents quickly. So by clicking the button, it will automatically launch our Eclipse client and show all matching documents. In this particular case, the invoice associated with the Acme company and all of the metadata. This is what we call image enabling and the ability to quickly call up documents from your line of business. This particular button can be pressed on any screen, meaning we can, uh, pages within the vision, we can embed buttons in other screens, check screens, sales order screens, uh, to be able to find documents. And this is, again, using the Object Explorer interface to embed these particular buttons. 